All right, Barstan Bessia, you started out talking about these extending way beyond the just the cancers three. Um, adding to what Barrister John So said, I believe you have something to say to that. Uh, yes, I probably always have something to say, but this is the issue. I followed, I followed Barrister Ganas's uh, horizon presentation. But when we deal with the cancer three, there are a number of issues that we must remember in mind. Remember, our guest told us of his book, The Illusion of Justice. He was talking about the American justice, which is an illusion. And then we must have in mind when we communicate to anybody, senators, Congress people, the fact that the Kansas three are American citizens. When they are American citizens, they benefit from the full protection of American law. And as our guest told us, if we do not know, in the American justice system, as a matter of principle, detention, incarceration is an exception. It's not the normal course of events. So when you are before the court, the presumption that they're innocent, I, uh, you should be let go. Subject is that you return to here to, to be heard at the appropriate time. But what is happening to the Kansas three falls in the American context of how the minorities are treated here. Well, we don't doubt that the Kansas three are all black. I remember our guest told us how he liberated a black guy, a minority guy, who spent 30 years in jail when he wrote this book. So, as Mr. Anso said, and I think it's correct, if you assume that President Biden, or the Secretary of State uh, for Justice, knows every single case going on in the Justice Department, it's just a lie. They don't follow those things. But we will highlight our issue. What we're trying to do in terms of the Council 3 is to put the justice system on trial as against our own victims. As they ask, what are they being incarcerated for? According to the court, which you can quote it from anybody when you write, they are being detained because they fear that they are a danger to the community. They are going to influence witnesses. The question any justice system will ask is, what danger do they pose to the community? And what community are they talking about? The community of Kansas? The community of somewhere in the United States where they live? Or the community of Ngokutunje Obui? And so it, it, brings to, it brings to light what the whole thing is about. And any man who is not yet, any official, not any man, any official who is involved in this thing, be it a politician or a, an expert in the, the, in the Department of Justice who asks this question, they will probably call the judge, call the court, why are these people being held here for? What's their problem? Did you post bail for them before they refuse to pay? The answer will be no. Why? As you said, it was right if I had been there and had that authority, the law should have appealed against that nonsense of incarcerating them. Because I had no foundation, it was a breach of the law. But look at the bigger context. See, we have to be very careful what we say. What this, what Mr. Ghana was analyzing essentially yesterday on Ukraine, or, or uh, what is happening in Israel and Gaza, they are a little bit different. Because we are not asking even in the terms of ambassador fight, we're not asking the American government to give us money. We're not asking them to give us their soldiers. Which money they are sending officially to, to, to Ukraine? They're sending tons of money there. They're sending tons of arms to Gaza, to, to Israel, to fight Gaza. Right or wrong, they are doing it. It's not for us to judge, but it is important for them to know that you see what we're doing is trying to put them to trying to win 
a public opinion case. Let the public see what injustice is being done to some people, essentially because they are the minority. I'm not sure that if those people were pure white guys, anybody would prefer them bad. We're talking less of charging them. So we have a public relation thing to do. We have a public battle to fight with these people for our interest here and for our interest back home. Because if you see how you're on the issue, you see the incarceration of the single three, which incarceration, they have no idea about even what happened. But they are making a political big deal in the system. It's their lives. Who are American citizens, I guess, are making a fortune out of it by giving the false publicity. So what that guy did to us was to give us these guidelines. And I think it deals with the geopolitics of the situation. But the geopolitical situation will arise. As I said, that when we write those letters and include the Ambassador Genocide Library, it will get into the geopolitics of the struggle. Because a United States Senator, United States uh, Representative, a human rights group, seeing those pictures, the first question they ask is what is happening? What has happened to this victim? What has happened to these actions? Any, any action? No. Why no action? Why no action? By the international community, by, by, by the ICC, the International Court of Justice. Why? That's just a normal thing. So by doing this, we're trying to kill silver birds with one single stone. Again, as Mr. Anso say, I'm very encouraged with what is going on now. People have bought into this. People are writing. Again, write as many as you can. There's nothing even wrong <laughs> writing to 350, uh, 65 uh, 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 repetitives. There's nothing wrong with that. They will not say, well, your letter is coming from council, uh, from uh, from Maryland, whereas I'm a congressman from, 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 from South Carolina, they will still receive them. It has a lot of meaning. And again, we have to make this fair. I will make it fair. In addition to all what you and me are doing, our own department should write something officially again to reemphasize the thing and address it to the State Department, the Department of Justice, to say this is something going on there. And then we we'll tell them our opinion that we just think that is absolutely uh, unfair justice. Why are they holding this pool for? Because even it's new that they are just being here because they are black, because they are minority. They will make them the politicians that escape from discrimination to say, but no, 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 they are not being discriminated. They'll find out what's going on. So we accuse them publicly. <laughs> Nobody will come and tell you from your house, this is not coming. Nobody will come and arrest you for accusing the senator or the system. No. They will just feel that well, some people are uncomfortable with what is going on. They will act, they will do something by virtue of your expression to influence public opinion, especially in times of elections. We have these women there, there are also a lot of ladies in the Biden administration. See, the, 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 the spokesperson, the government spokesperson, is a woman. They're all black women. So get to them if we can by writing emails, by Twitter, or any form of communication that can influence them. You lose nothing by writing. If you write 10 letters and they act on one, it is better than writing nothing and having no action at all. So, again, in this social media age, we don't pay anything to write. They don't give us no penalties for writing, but the writing may tend to give us some benefits. So let us emphasize all these things. If we need anything at all, we should, we should only need the guidance. What language do we put in our letters? What things do we put there? For example, we have insisted on the Ambassador uh, General Library. That's all we need. This is the American free society. We are free to do what we like. And unfortunately, Mr. Sanso was not there. He did not even end with America. The guy said that people all over the world, Ambazonians spread all over the world. You are free to write to the government of the United States, write to the president. It costs you nothing. Those things will learn at the presidency. There's a department to handle those things there. Nobody will punish you for writing to the presidency. If you are in England, or if you are even in Boya, or you are in Kambe, 
if you have the access. You're right. That's how in the in this the world, world particularly the United States, you influence policy privately and publicly. Again, the Biden, the Biden administration, even the Trump, or American administration, they pretend to stand for human rights. They pretend to do justice. But let justice not just be pretended, it should be it should not be an illusion. As the professor wrote in his book, mm. it should be something rare. For all justice is not just justice, it should be seen to be done. Do it, people should see it done, and people should see that it was justice. So we can take all these facets together, we produce a, a result. I'm sure if we had this opportunity six months back, we will not be where we are, we would have been in a different place. I think that's all I can add for now. Maybe some other issues will arise. Thank you.